Okay, I thought I'd give you a couple of tools and tips on how to look at some SAML data and understand kind of what's going on um, with ZIA and ZPA. Um, there's a couple of different things you can do. Um, you know, obviously you can generate the, the SAML request and, and response by, by, by signing into um, Zscaler app. But everything that goes on within the app is is compartmentalized. You you can't actually you know, really intercept that data. So we kind of want to do stuff outside of this. Um, and one of the things that I like to do is just browse straight to the um, the, the SAML server. Um, Zscaler doesn't natively support IDP initiated SAML sign on for user logon. And what I mean by that is I can't just say to a user, "Hey, sign in with this." Um, but you know, I have got the reliant party trust here, um, and you know, when I sign into ZIA, I tell ZIA I want to sign into this account. It redirects me to the IDP. So as a service provider initiated redirect to the IDP, I sign in, and the response gets consumed by by Zscaler, and then you're uh, into the platform. Um, but from a from a flow perspective. Um, whilst it doesn't, whilst Zscaler doesn't support you doing IDP initiated SAML to, to enroll into the platform, the actual data that is sent is essentially the same. So let's um, let's do this. Um, if we go into um, developer mode, um, and so we'll get the the pop up over here, um, and we're recording the the session here, and we just click sign in. Um, it's actually signed, kind of signed me into Zscaler. The, the, you know, obviously, this is outside of the app, but it gives me the data that was sent. So here we're, we're going to IDP initiated sign-on. This is on, on my, uh, my SAML server, and it posts the data over to Zscaler. Um, and, and here I have all of the SAML response data. Um, now, this is base64 encoded. Um, so let's um, go ahead and decode this. So I'm going to open up a... Um, uh, a terminal window. All I'm going to do is I'm going to I've copied that to the clipboard. I'm going to paste it over here, um, and I'm going to pass it through base64 minus d to decode it, and that then gives me the actual SAML response data. Um, really helpful because now I can see um, the the groups that the user is uh, a member of. So we've got internet users. Um, I've also got general users, a whole load of different attributes that the user is being sent um, for Zscaler Internet Access. I also know the display name. So all of this is really helpful for me if I'm trying to understand entitlement and things like that. The other things that you get in here um, is the certificate. Um, so, you know, if you're concerned that perhaps, you know, the user isn't authenticated and they haven't uploaded the certificate properly, um, then I can go ahead and take a look at this. So here is my certificate, again, base64 encoded. Um, so what I can do is I can echo that. Um, and what I, what I tend to do is um, base64 minus D, um, D, so I'm going to decode it. I pass it through open uh, SSL X509 uh, in form. Uh, it's now DUR encoded because I've decoded it. Um, and just say, just output it as text. Um, and this gives me everything I need to know about the certificate. Um, the, um, when it was issued, when it expires, um, that it's actually the, the signing certificate from my ADFS server, that's the actual uh, canonical name on the certificate. Um, not particularly interested in everything that goes along with this. Um, interestingly, it's using the web server template, largely irrelevant, um, but then I've got this here, which is the PEM format for the certificate. So I can go ahead and uh, if I wanted to, I could copy that and I could vi the adfs.pem file. Um, apparently you can see I've got, uh, I've got it and I can paste it in there, um, save it, save it. And now I could go ahead and upload that into ZIA or ZPA mm -hmm. as, as needed that I've got the certificate. So. Um, Really helpful ways to, to trace that um, that SAML data. Um, I can kind of do the, the the same thing. ADFS 
go back to the IDP initiated sign on page um, and I could do the same for Zscaler private access uh, and click sign in over here. Um, Zscaler is going to display the data um, as part of uh, it, its policy um, but actually if I look here I still get the same um, host data over here as well so again I could I'd go ahead and copy that this is the ZPA stuff so let's clear that uh, echo that much bigger um, SAML response data pass that through base 64 minus D um, and here I can see everything that was sent to um, to ZPA much more de much more detail um, about who the user is um, I've got other attributes that are being sent um, in here um, but really interesting to, to, to take note of how the data is, is passed, what data is visible to the, um, um, to the IDP, um, and also what data is then passed from the IDP from the, to the service provider. Um, so now that I understand this data, I can take the next step, which is decoding what is going on on the Zscaler side.